The second part of our lecture today is about non-lactose fermenters. From their name, non-lactose fermenters, they will not ferment lactose, so we expect that they will produce colorless or pale color colonies on McConkey's agar because there is no lactose fermentation. So this is the appearance of non-lactose fermenters on McConkey's agar. They will produce pale color colonies while lactose fermenters will produce rose pink color colonies on McConkey's agar. This is also the appearance. This is an inoculated plate of McConkey's agar. This is the colorless or pale color colonies of non-lactose fermenters on McConkey's agar like Salmonella, Shigella, Proteus, and this is the rose pink color colonies of lactose fermenters on McConkey's agar like E. coli, Klebsiella, Enterobacter, and Citrobacter. First of all, we have triprotein. These, uh, these microorganisms have the ability to deaminate phenylalanine. This is important. The triprotein, they are the only enterobacteria that they have the ability to deaminate phenylalanine producing a green color at the uh, surface of the reaction. So they are phenylalanine deaminase positive. And this test is called Guthrie test. This protein includes three genera, which are genus Proteus, genus Providentia, and genus Morganella. Those we will talk about them in details in the second part of lecture two today. Now, first of all is genus Proteus. It is the most important of triprotea. Genus Proteus have four species. The most important two of them is Proteus vulgaris and Proteus mirabilis. As you know, what is important for us is the pathogenic microorganisms, the microorganisms that cause the disease. So, most diseases caused by genus Proteus are caused by Proteus vulgaris, vulgaris and Proteus mirabilis. Other two species including penary and mixofficients. Now, Proteus species are found in soil and water and are normal inhabitants of intestine in man. So, they are not primary human pathogens. They are normal inhabitants. They are present as normal flora in normal immunity. But when immunity decreases, they may cause the infection and also they cause infection when they leave the intestine because normal flora is microorganism that's present normally in specific situation in specific site and at specific age leaving of this microorganism outside this site may cause infection so when they leave the intestine mainly by the first two species they can cause urinary tract infection, otitis media, wound infection, pneumonia, and other infections. Proteus infections are resistant to antibiotics and sensitivity tests should be done. What we mean by first two species, we mean by Proteus vulgaris and Proteus mirabilis. This is the appearance. They produce colorless, pale color colonies on McConkey's agar because they are non-lactose fermenters. And very, very, very important characteristic feature of genus Proteus is the formation of what we call as swarming phenomena. This is the swarming phenomena. It is very characteristic of genus Proteus. And it is due to the rapid motility of genus Proteus. Swarming phenomena is def defined as the formation of concentric zones of bacterial growth that can grow over the whole surface of solid culture media. It is successive waves of translucent growth over the whole surface of the culture media on which they grow. This is the swarming phenomena. One of the characters in the first lecture is that it is like a tree in a tree in a tree in a tree. وراح تتكون موجات حول هذا الحجر هذا هو ال description of swarming phenomena that's produced by genus Proteus 
Morphology, as for all anterior bacteria, they are gram-negative bacilli, very pleomorphic and highly motile, and this is the reason for the swarming phenomena. So, uh, on McConkey's agar, because they are non-lactose fermenters, so they will produce colorless colonies. And very characteristic feature, other characteristic feature of uh, genus Proteus is the presence of fishy bad odor. Is the production of fishy bad odor. Its odor is very characteristic. Inshallah, if you take the textbooks of the work, we will let you تشمون الرائحة مباشرة تقدر أن تشخص ال proteins from its bad smell. Biochemical activities. Another very important characteristic feature of genus proteins is that they are urease positive. Urease positive can distinguish genus proteins from other members of Enterobacteriaceae. منو عدنا urease positive أيضا عدنا أخذنا الكليبسيلا. وأخذنا some species of citrobacters. بالنسبة للبروتيز they are urease positive so both species vulgaris and mirabilis can hydrolyze urea making the urea of patient with UTI more alkaline due to hydrolysis and also they produce H2S causing black discoloration in triple sugar iron agar. So these are the important features of genus Proteus that differentiate them from other members of Enterobacteriaceae. What are these features? First of all, formation of swarming phenomena, production of a specific smell, specific fash, fishy odor, urease positive tests, and production of H2S. Invic phenomena of genus Proteus in general, general is varial, positive, negative, variable. Proteus vulgaris is indole positive, ornithine decarboxylase negative, while mirabilis is opposite. It is indole negative and positive ornithine decarboxylase. ممكن أن تكون هاي صعبة عليكم حتى تفرقون بيناتهم. بالنسبة للفولجاريز إذا نشع أنه تحتوي الاسم فولجاريز ب only one I. بينما الميرابيلس ب 3 اي لكن على الرغم من ذلك على الرغم من كل هذه الحروف طبعا هاي فقط للتذكر حتى تساعدكم للتذكر على الرغم انه تحتوي على 3 ايز لكن هي اندول نيجاتيف الاندول قلناه هو الفيرست تيست اوف انفيك اللي هو الاي هذا هو الاندول لذلك الميرابلس على الرغم أنه اسمه بينه 3 eyes لكن على الرغم من ذلك هي اندول نيجاتيف عكسه الأورنيثين دي كاربوكسيليز بوزيتيف بينما الفولجاريس على الرغم أنه هي بيها بس only one eye لكن هاي الاي قوية بحيث قلت الاندول مالتها بوزيتيف بالنسبة للفولجاريس عكسه الأورنيثين دي كاربوكسيليز will be negative this is only to uh, make you memorize the uh, positive and negative indole test for vulgaris and mirabilis. So, for vulgaris, the invic phenomena will be positive, positive, negative, variable. For mirabilis, it will be negative, positive, negative, variable. Okay? This is about the uh, invic. Now, uh, hydrolysis of urea will produce ammonia and this causes alkalinization of urine. Uh, leading to precipitation of calcium and phosphate and magnesium uh, stones. So, uh, treat, treating uh, stones caused by proteas is by acidification of urine to uh, decrease the uh, alkaline pH produced by proteas. This is to treat UTI by proteas. Proteas vulgaris, as I said, on triple sugar iron agar, it will be. A on A because it is lactose fermenter. H2S production, so it will produce a black color. Indole positive, methyl red positive, vocus proskauer negative. Citrate utilization is variable, urease is positive, and motility is positive. Now, regarding 
Uh, laboratory diagnosis, Proteus mirabilis vulgaris are easily recognized by characteristic swarming phenomena, as I said. And both species will hydrolyze urine, make the uh, urine of the patient uh, more alkaline, so it needs acidification in order to prevent the stone. Uh, indole can differentiate between vulgaris and mirabilis. Vulgaris will be indole positive, while mirabilis will be indole. Uh, negative. All strains of mirabilis are sensitive to ampicillin and cephalosporin, while vulgaris is more resistant, so it is more uh, severe and dangerous. Diagnosis, gram-negative bacilli, uh, they produce characteristic odor, and uh, non-lactose fermenters also produce colorless colonies on McConkie's agar. Now here, I will ask you a question, and this is your task, regarding triple sugar iron agar. They are non-lactose fermenters, so what we we'll expect, we expect we have uh, the uh, slant is alkaline, and the uh, the butt will be acidic, with the production of H2S because it is non-lactose fermenter. But Proteus vulgaris, Proteus vulgaris will produce acid, al acid, then H2S. يعني على الرغم من انه هي لاكتوز فيرمنتر عفوا على الرغم من انه هي نون لاكتوز فيرمنتر نون لاكتوز فيرمنتر ونحن نتوقع انه هي راح تكون كي على اي زائد اتش تو اس لكن الفولجاريس راح تنتج لنا اي على اي زائد اتش تو اس على الرغم انه هي نون لاكتوز فيرمنتر واجبكم هو اور تاسك هو ليش انتجت لنا الاسيدك slant يعني yellow slant على الرغم من انه هي non lactose fermenter هذا واجب لكم why proteus vulgaris will produce acidic slant on triple sugar iron agar in spite that it is lactose non fermenter but it produce yellow slant why this is your task other biochemical reaction in Vic for vulgaris is positive positive negative variable for mirabilis negative positive negative variable urease test is positive very important this is urease test positive producing pink color motility is positive they are very high motile and uh, API system can differentiate them from other species other member of non lactose fermenter is morganella example the species is morganella morgani of is of medical importance can cause wind infection urinary tract infection it is ornithine decarboxylase positive citrate negative and h2s negative so there will be no black discoloration and uh, morganella morgani is divided into two species according to the three halose fermentation subspecies siboni and subspecies morgani uh, other member of non lactose fermenter is genus providentia it has many species and they are important in causing nosocomial infections in immunocompromised patients. This is about the second part of our lecture today, non-lactose fermenters, including Proteus, Morganella, and uh, Providentia. Proteus, the important features, characteristic features of Proteus is the formation of swarming phenomena, formation of a specific fishy odor, bad smelling odor. It is urease positive, and Proteus vulgaris and Proteus mirabilis, the most important two species of uh, genus Proteus, the uh, indole will be positive for vulgaris and negative for mirabilis, and the opposite will occur in ornithine decarboxylase. Ornithine decarboxylase is negative for vulgaris and positive for mirabilis. This is all about the uh, genus Proteus and other members of no lactose fermenter. And not forget, don't forget your uh, homework, your task. Why Proteus vulgaris produce acidic slant on triple sugar iron agar in spite of that it is non-lactose fermenter.